please. <laughs> please welcome the lovely Kelsey Grammer, everybody. Kelsey. Uh, you look great. Uh, before I talk good? to you about your show, and, okay. I, and I do want to talk to you about it, I wonder, you have some experience delivering children, don't you? Yeah, you got a few. I have five children. you got five kids. So between the two of us, we're, you know... Experts. This, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Nothing so, to yeah. worry about. If anything starts to happen... Where's... <laughs> celebrity baby news! <laughs> This show is sensational, but you're vi you play a very mad, serious role in it. I, no, I'm uh, used to seeing you in the comedic. Well, most people are used to that, and uh, unfortunately, they're still used to that. We're trying to find, you know, a few more people to watch the show. Uh, I feel your pain. Uh, I feel your pain. You know, we've been. If, in fact, if if everybody here watches the show tomorrow night, then our ratings will double. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's, no, but, but no, you've got the critical acclaim. That's it's what counts. It's got critical acclaim, so that's, we're doing our best to try to convince that's people what that that's enough. That's what counts in TV now. The critical acclaim, you, all you have to do is win a couple of awards. Viewers, pasha. Yeah, no, you're right. All you need is a Golden Globe and we've an got, Emmy, we've and you're some on attention. for years. We've gotten some yeah. attention. It's very nice. It's, yeah. a, it's a great role to play. It is a serious you drama. You something on your pants? Uh, I did a minute ago, yeah. I'm, I'm just checking the lint. No, no. You know, there's a guy backstage with a sticky wand. Yeah. He'll rub it on you. I feel funny about that. Sometimes he rubs me with the yeah, sticky one. I'm not even lenty. Too much. <laughs> I actually heard that. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. <laughs> I can get I can get you one of those if you want. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> are you still? I think of you. I, I always wanted to go and see you do the Shakespeare in the Park in New York. Do you still do that from time to time? Well, when I can, yeah. I mean, I try to do Shakespeare at least every couple of years. Right. What, 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 what are the Shakespearean all. play the roles that you? Because well, you see, done, it's uh, difficult. The Shakespeare. Richard the Second. Yes. Uh, Macbeth. You don't, uh, you don't want to say that. Uh, well, I think it's okay to say it here. They just say it's not okay to say it in a the theater. This is. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Studio, you know. yeah, I know, you're right. That's it's very, barely a know. television studio as well. So, yeah, all right. I don't have an issue with it. Right, okay. Uh, do, do you, are you superstitious when you do the play, uh, though? No, no. How's your Scottish accent? Do you do it in a Scottish no, accent? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Wait, that's a Scottish accent. Uh, a bit. Well, I used to work with a fellow named Alex Russell. I know him. From Glasgow. Yes. No, you don't. Uh, no, I don't. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did, what, was he, he was an a actor? No, he was a chef. Uh, when I was, uh, <laughs> you know, actors, we usually do a lot of different things. Uh, I, I was 17. I took a job at a hotel where I was basically a jack of all trades. I, I washed laundry. I, I uh, fixed the elevator if somebody got stuck in it. Uh, and I worked from about <laughs> worked from about seven at night till about four in the morning. This is a porn, I think, isn't it? Oh, it could have been. It feels like it a porn. You sure it was but, a hotel? Well, Alex, Alex would always, I would, I would help him sort of, I would be like his broiler man during the rush, uh, for dinner rush, and then uh, he'd take me into the back, uh, this, is where the, this is where the porn stuff starts. Wow, man. No, no. You uh, got the robot all animated he'd now. Sneak, he'd sneak in the, into the, the, the walk-in freezer, basically, and he kept the drum buoy in there. Ah, it's and a liquor-based story. He'd sneak yes. his hand behind the box of frozen vegetables and pour us both a little shot and say, I make that of the goods. And then, yeah. boop. Yeah. Back we'd go, and then we'd go back to work, and then I'd have to go out and brush the tennis courts and uh, arrange the furniture on the uh, the chaises. What the, the hell beach. was this place? This is in Pompano Beach, Florida. Wow, yeah, that sounds was swanky. It was very swanky. Yeah, yeah, it sounds swanky. But the interesting thing about Alex was, and maybe you know guys like this from Glasgow, uh, when he was 14, he decided to have all his teeth removed, so he was the toughest kid on his block. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Kelsey. Did Apparently did, that, did Alex uh, tell you this? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, your friend and Alex he, from he, Glasgow? And yeah. he popped his teeth out all the time. So. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not what happened. No. no. <laughs> what happened is he lost all of his teeth because he ate candy from the moment he was born. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> then he comes to America, and in order to appear tougher than he is, he said, I got them all taken out so that I was the toughest. So, yeah, yeah, it's not a measure of toughness. Uh, many of the MMA fighters have lovely teeth. It's just a yeah. tooth. Yeah. Uh, it's just a tooth decay. It's, it's a tooth situation. decay issue. Yeah, they, I, uh, I, I really think it I is. Understand. I mean, I have I have some uh, bridge work in here. So, as have I. But mine was from getting the teeth knocked out. Right. 
So are you in New York when you make this thing, or are you, are you back in We LA actually now? shoot in Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. I love Chicago. Shoot in Chicago. Got Chicago. That. It's a great place to work, and yeah. it's, a, it's a great town to work in. It's a great uh, town to make a story about. Yeah, and you got you, your time off, you can go sailing in Lake Oprah there. Well, I haven't they, done uh, that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, I did a I did a show with Oprah some time ago. This was uh, for the book club thing, uh, yeah. and we read a book and we sat and talked. And she leaned over in between uh, the, when we were shooting, and she said to me, "She said, uh, you know, I've bought some land on Maui." And I said, "Yeah, I know. I'd heard that." And uh, she said, "It's called um, Haleakala." Haleakala. Yeah, and I thought, well, that's that's the volcano. <laughs> Did you buy the entire volcano? volcano? It's larger than the city of Manhattan. <laughs> uh, we have to take a break. Um, and while I here get some legal advice about Oprah. <laughs> we'll be right back with Kelsey Grammer. We'll be right back. Kind of. That's why I did it. We're back on now. So, yeah, so. Yeah, but about 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 10. <laughs> That's how long Oprah was in the volcano. I believe. <laughs> well, uh, we're out of time, Kelsey Grammer. Do you want a piece of fruit? I'd love a piece of fruit. All right, let me see got? what you got. Whoa, we got some new it's stuff organic tonight. organic fruit. Yeah, yeah, it's of course Very it's organic. Important. Well, I mean, what do you think? It's like. Uh, I don't know what's the difference. I hear uh, Hey, we've got a coconut here. You know, there's two this. different kinds of persimmons in the world. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, there's, there's one that grows more like that, and there's one that grows like this. Well, and, well, well uh, wait, I mean, that's a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah, no, but it's more, it's more heart-shaped. There's one that's more heart-shaped. Do you know about this theory about like, fruit, uh, certain fruits that actually look like an organ? <laughs> uh, um, for instance, coconuts are yeah. good for that part of your body. Not getting it at uh, all. Not getting it at all here. Oh, that looks like a heart. That'd be good for your heart. A right? heart? Wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, Wouldn't sure, it looks okay. like a heart. <laughs> now, now, Craig. Yeah, well, like I... this, it does. This way, it's something else. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that you would see be it your good way, I'll see for it your mine. butt. Uh, you. What about a uh, midget pineapple? You want I'm a midget really pineapple? Sure. I'll take that midget pineapple. That's yeah. lovely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? You're going to, uh, will you put it in a recipe? I'm going to go put it in a small planter and show my children how a pineapple grows. <laughs> Well, th th this won't grow. This is a know, midget pineapple. Well, hey. a, well, my children are small. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you don't want. I, I, if I was you, I'd take the this coconut. The leaking. coconut's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, about to fall. <laughs> this coconut. So, oh, you know what this is? It's because last night uh, Carson Cressley was here, who's got a name eerily similar to yours, uh -huh. and. Yeah, he popped a, a, a percent. Yeah, well, like he popped a piece of passion fruit in my face by accident. No kidding. <laughs> I yeah, so I'm guessing like this that. coconut has been scored for the same hilarious I gotta, reason. No, I wouldn't yeah. do that to him. No, I'd, I'd feel that, that's too nice a suit. Yeah, well, yeah. thanks. Man. Yeah. I've got nice socks on. Does that guy, got that guy come socks. out and roll on you? Man. It's very nice. I used to, yeah, I'm just going to go. yeah, black, black, black socks. Black socks? Black, yeah. That's the way That's to go, all. really. Not That's the more elegant. It's, yeah. Anyway, you got your midget pineapple. Thanks we very plugged much. your show. I think we're uh, done. Yeah, watch the show. Yeah. Thanks. Kelsey Grammer, Thanks, we're right back. Kelsey Grammer, everybody, Kelsey Grammer. My dear boy. How are you, man? You know, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm really great. You look very like a sort of rich dude. <laughs> you know, like well, linen and kind I look like a guy that was once really rich. <laughs> and things have just gone okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're all right. You look yeah, great. I, I like your great. Jack lavender jacket. It's That's a, good. It's a fabulous color. It's like yeah, do you have someone that chooses your socks for you by any chance? No, I don't. I, I saw your socks before and they're fantastic. Thanks. They're actually tights. Are they? I shouldn't. All the way should, up to all here. All the way up to here, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. How is how's things going for you? I believe congratulations are in order. Yes, congratulations are in order. Um, Another? Uh, a, blessed, a blessed new grammarian is... Uh, well, so how many, how many is that now, then? Six. 
Six children. Six children. You're not wealthy at all anymore, uh, are you? <laughs> well, I figure, I figure there is an obligation to make sure they're well cared for. Yeah, well, um, yeah. So you, trust fund. you're going to be working the rest of your I life. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. That's good. That's yeah. kind of like, uh, oh, man, I don't know if I could do another one, though. No. Yeah. Newborn in the house. Two. That's enough. Yeah. 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 No, actually, I like it. I kind of thrive on it. I, really? I enjoy that young energy around and watching them discover the world. It makes me, you know, I don't what about the What about the, uh, the utter lack of sleep for about three years? I'm okay with it. Really? Well, there was a time in my life when I didn't sleep at all for other reasons. Wow, me too, uh, yes. So but that seemed to be much more refreshing. fun, yeah. It was more fun. It reminds me of a story. You know, a coach uh, on Cheers was played by an actor named Nick Colasano. Right, yes. He'd been sober for a long time, and George Wen asked him once in the back of a car, said, uh, Nick, you know, when was the last time, uh, have you, are you having fun? And he said, oh, hell, I haven't had fun since I stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this, uh, this show with, uh, with Martin, then, you're, yeah. uh, you're, uh, he's uh, neat and you're tidy, or is that the... Uh... Uh, it's actually just, it's just Odd Couple, yeah, but it's Odd Couple updated. We're both lawyers, and uh, we have different um, um, approaches to the law. Right. I'm more of a liar. He's more of a, 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 a truth teller. Well, see, right there, that's your plot problem that's, there. He's a lawyer yeah. and he's telling the truth. Yeah. 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 That's going to be hard uh, to make that work. So he can't make any money, and I do. So right. together we become a rather potent team, and it's, it's been pretty funny. We'll he's, see what he, happens. He's pretty funny. You're a pretty funny he's guy. A funny he's a pretty guy. funny guy. That should work out. Yeah. And what's the network, FX? FX. That's the one they're all going for now. Yeah, it seems to be having... Well, well me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. You know, I'm, I'm finishing here. I know, and, and mm. you want to do a game show, right? I am, yeah, yes, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already started Congrats. it, actually. That's a lot, of, a lot of, you know, buckaroos in that. A lot of green in that. <laughs> well, a, lot of, a lot of, you know... There's snickerdoodles? A lot of snickerdoodles? <laughs> We call them both not, not, if it works out, if yeah. It works out. Yeah, if it go. works out. But there's no money right away. It's kind of like, it's like a reasonably odds lottery ticket. You used to be on Drew Carey's show, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Drew ended up in that world for a while. He I think did, he did really yeah. Well. He's doing the prices right. He's been yeah. there for... Drew and I... Do you know, I actually met you once when right I was... backstage at Conan. No. I met you there. Yeah. But even before that, when I was... You probably don't remember this. We get... Uh, it was in an... <laughs> Maybe not. No, no. Oh, yeah, because you were like... <laughs> ah. uh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, this is a true story. It was one of my first interviews uh, when, I, when I was on the Drew Carey show. Yeah. It was the CNN building on oh, uh, yeah, Sunset. Yeah, right, right. I was up there doing Larry King then. Right, because yeah, we, right. we, we get in the elevator and you were very nice. And you said hello. And I said, oh, Kelsey Grammer, very nice to meet you. And you were like, yeah, and you were very kind to me. And we get up to the level and the receptionist was there. And I said, please, you first. And Kelsey went over and said, uh, Kelsey Grammer for Larry King. And they went, oh, right away. And then they said, and you, sir? And I went, Craig Ferguson for Space Ghost. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and, but the thing is, did you, ever, did you ever get interviewed by Space Ghost? Never did. I tell you what, that Space Ghost show was hilarious. Something. Oh, man, that was a great show. And Larry, of course, Larry still interviewed still everybody. It, yeah. yeah. It's pretty amazing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, how long has he been? Like over 75, 80 years. years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you ever see any of the old Cheers gang? Once in a while, yeah. uh, I'll bump into John Ratzenberger. Yes, I see him he's made some slicker doodles with the uh, Snickers with his the, yeah his own little show, Made in America. I think. Yeah, yeah, and also the the, uh, the what do you call and it? that other thing? The Pixar. He's the, always in the Pixar, Pixar movies. All the Pixar yeah. movies. Yeah, and I think he did that um, environmentally friendly packing material. You're kidding me! I think he may be like one of the guys behind that. So he also did a movie called um, uh, Space Buddies. Which is for very young children. I've not seen that. Well, you will. I will. Yeah, you're going to see it again. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. plays the. Uh, I'm watching all the old classics. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be back. Back to Teletubbies one more time. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Little Einsteins right now. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's the Little the Einsteins. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I no, I, env I I envy you. I admire you. I don't Thank know you. that I envy you, you for doing it again. I you know, I'm in a position where I'm actually very happy with what I'm. Yeah, no, I I, I, I totally buy it. I don't. I just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm just. There are people I'm, around me saying you must be insane, but. Uh, oh, Crikey, did go, Kelsey. Crikey. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I. You can't let other people. Exactly. With the, here's how you should live your life from their basement. Oh. Ooh la la. Man. <laughs> you know. 
No, you don't need to listen. Do to not him. read the comments. No, <laughs> never read the comments. No, and and it's it's really. Are you on the Tweety or the? I I just I just sort of re-entered that world. I tried it for a while about four or five years ago, and uh, had some guy kind of tweeting for me. And, right. And that's not in the spirit was, of it. He was though, just making a lot of passes at women. That <laughs> I went. Oh well, actually, then that's this. fine. Yeah. My my wife saw it and she said. What is this? Who's this girl from Australia in the Valentine outfit? And uh, I said, I actually do not know. And, and the only way I could actually uh, confirm that was by showing her the tweets that had gone out and how bad the spelling was. Because <laughs> I don't spell bad. Right. And, uh, bad badly. No, no. Uh. <laughs> But, <laughs> I'm such a crikey, man, I'm that sorry. Would, uh, <laughs> but that would be poorly. Oh, poorly, yeah, <laughs> yeah it would be, yeah. So this last, I've, I've re-entered the, the stream a little bit to kind of have some fun about uh, grammar and, and uh, the misuse of language in our, our current way of communicating with each other. And uh, it's had some success and it's, it's it caused you a get people stir. Get, people get very angry about the wrong yeah, but, you know, period no or anger. comma. It doesn't you know? matter. It doesn't have to be angry. It's just, they were angry before they ever even exactly. heard of you. Yeah, they were exactly. just angry. It's just an angry place. Yeah, it is. It is. But so it's, it's actually to garner a little bit of attention toward the, uh, the new show. Well, people do use yeah. that, the social media for that. It's all right. It's all right. It is okay. It's all right. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Which is one of the things uh, that CBS almost insists on. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Like, like, the, the, whoa, we're just talking. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, there you are. We're out of time. Okay. <laughs> it's good to see you. I love well, your snake. Well, thanks very yeah, much indeed. It's a, it's a Freudian thing, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a rattlesnake. It's a big snake. snake. It's a big, it's a big, big snake, snake to compensate. Rattlesnake. You know, it's funny. This reminds me of a story. Oh, okay. Um, good old. Um, there's, there's a woman that's been working in my home for, oh, 30 years or so. And, of course, you know, once in a while, living in California, you end up finding rattlesnakes in odd places in your property. And, By um, property, you don't mean your pants or anything. No, no. <laughs> that's always been a problem, but now, no, they're usually outside the slacks. But, uh... <laughs> I like to think I live outside the slacks, Kelsey. <laughs> I was walking home up, the, up the, the pathway to my house, this is several years ago, and a girl named Elizabeth, who was working with the baby at the time, said, be careful, there's a big snake up there. I said, okay. So I started to walk up, and she said, Maria's taking care of it. Oh, uh, okay. Which either meant she had a machete out, and she's gonna chop its head off. <laughs> Or was actually shoot it along. Oh, I oh, thought what, it meant taking care of it, like. What she was actually doing was, <laughs> This kind of thing. Really? That? And the snake was completely out. And she said, there are some women from my country. Hypnotized uh, snakes? That know how to do this. She was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, needless to say, Maria is still with us. Sure. <laughs> is never leaving. <laughs> you, want to, you want to know where that woman is at all times, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think we all learned something. Kelsey Grammer, everybody. <laughs> Day, this country will have a choice. Pizza or hot dog? <laughs> Go for the hot dog, because any woman who enjoys a hot dog will also touch your wiener. 